is one of New Zealand's most original and creative artists. He was born in Christchurch in 1901 and had a career that took him around the world and took his works to the Museum of Modern Art and the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York. He was an extraordinary artist. He was somebody who made his subject motion or movement. And that idea of tracing movement is in every single one of his works, whether it's a tiny pencil doodle from the 1930s, a major film, or a huge kinetic sculpture that bangs and crashes and flashes in the gallery. We had an opening for the exhibition and then a couple of hours later we threw open the doors of the gallery to the general public and we had a party. And that night we had nearly 4,000 people, I think, came through the gallery and had a look at the exhibition. The whole community came together and enjoyed themselves in front of Len Lai's work. He couldn't realise in his lifetime all his ideas. There's a fantastic program at the University of Canterbury where young engineers are brought in to try and help solve or resolve some of the engineering problems that Len Lai set up. Resonant frequencies are something you'd normally avoid like the plague as an engineer because they result in large elastic deformation. He actually finds out what the frequencies are, excites these frequencies and then he causes these quite sort of unpredictable um, behaviours in, in these sculptures. And Len Lai generally nailed it. Like when we create these works we find that they actually do behave in the way that he says they will behave. I think he had a very, very good feel uh, for engineering, uh, for materials and, and the, the physics behind how they move. It's a survey basically of Len Lai's work, so it includes uh, more than 50 years worth of work. There are lots of the great big favourite kinetic moving sculptures, but there are also some sculptures that I think even um, people who really feel they know about Len Lai won't have seen before.